So here we have Chimarosa studying diminutions in this example down here. Okay? Because what's happening, you have to... Yes, I do. You, this, this is a seven. It doesn't really look like it, but all those are little sevens. Okay? And the eighth notes in between are diminutions. They don't count. So what he's writing is... familiar because it is a very very familiar pattern but we have to put in the sevenths now here's what they were taught uh, by the way this is a circle of fifths pattern probably a lot of you picked that up already they were not taught this as chords because if I'm taught that uh, there's this thing called circle of fifths and the bass drops a fifth and, and goes up a fourth and every single one of them takes a root position chord what am I going to do when I start playing that. I'm going to play this ugly, weird thing. They were never taught that. They didn't even know what that was. What they were taught was that the C5, I call this the C5, the circle of fifths pattern, takes two upper voices. One of them will be a third above the bass, and the other will be a seventh above the bass. So when they see seven, 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 they know, oh, this is the thing with the thirds and sevenths. Okay? So notice the first note doesn't have it because you can't start on a dissonance. It has to be prepared. So I'm just going to give that a third and a fifth. And then I have to go to the D and give that a third and a seventh. But if I look at what's in my hand, I have a C and an E. Well... What's the seventh of D? That's the C. Oh, I can just keep the C, and I just need to move the F. Now I need to go to G. Oh, I can keep the F and move the B. So in my upper voices, I have these moving things. They're just going like this, chunk, 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 chunk. Well, the bass is going bing, bong, bing, bong, bing, bong. And then if I play this way, uh, come on, think. That's minor. Okay. So they all knew this. This was immediately from the very beginning as children how they were taught to play this stuff. Now here's what's really interesting when you start getting into diminutions. Playing diminutions in the left hand is pretty easy and we see Chimarosa doing that. I'm going to fill something in. How about if I go... voices. Anyway, I can't play while not looking. You hear how quickly that starts to sound like real music? It almost sounds like Bach or something. That's because the music of Bach is made of these patterns with just little diminutions filled in. Okay, so basic voice leading structures forming like a skeleton filled in with diminutions to make it sound like music. That's what they learned from Partimento.